All right, so what is up guys? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to deal with translations in an app. And it's very straightforward, it's very quick. And uh, let me just show you an example of what I mean. So as you can see here in the app, currently we just have something that says Code Palace button and type something here. And when you click on the button, it makes a toast in English. But now if we go to our system settings and let's change the language to Italian. And we go straight back to our app you'll see everything turns to Italian besides Code Palace. And when you click on this toast message, it will have it in Italian as well. So let's change that quickly back to English and let's get started immediately with our project. And we are gonna go straight to our main activity, XML. And then we can go to the split view so we can still see that. And I'm gonna copy and paste in my previous layout. And so far, as you can see, there are a lot of things missing, such as the strings that are not there yet. I'm just gonna go over what I did real quick in this XML. The first thing I have is a relative layout at the top, then a linear layout inside with orientation to vertical and gravity to center. And it's gonna be wrapping the content for height and width. And then we have a text view, which will be bold. It will have an idea of text view. It will have both unwrapped content. I put the size to 30 SP. And the text is going to be this string text view text. And then we have a button with the ID of button and it's going to have text color at Android color white, background tint of blue. And uh, yeah, it's going to wrap content again and the string is going to be a button string. Then we're going to have Android ID, edit text, text, person name. And it's going to just wrap content EMS 10, hint is going to be the string that says type some text here. And we're going to have an Android input type of text person name. But let's just go here and get rid of the string so I can show you how you add a string because most of the time when you add a string, you hard code it, but it's very good practice to actually create a string resource. So let's just type in button. And here it's gonna give you this warning. It's gonna say hard coded string button. We can do extract string resource. It's gonna take the resource name. And if you click on okay, it will create that string for you. So we have string button right in our values under strings as you can see there. And we have the app name is our first string there. But what I'm gonna do for the purposes of this tutorial is actually copy and paste my previous strings besides app name, of course. So essentially, as you can see, I have a string resource for the button, for the type some text here, for the name, for text view text, and for the toast message, which I will create later. But if we go back to our activity main XML, you'll see all the errors are gone. For you, all you have to really do is just type in some random text, right click on it and extract string resource or you can directly add them here by creating a string resource such as this. We can do toast message two, and you can do stuff like that. And then we can add that later to the project. But we'll just delete that for now because it's not important. But after you've created some layout with some string resources, we can actually go to our main activity and add the functionality to the button. So we're gonna do button dot set on click listener. And inside here, we want to create a toast message with the context of this. And this is gonna take our string resource, r.string.toast message. But let's pretend we want to add Italian as a translation or any language you want. As you can see here, you will have this uh, edit translation for all locales in the translations editor. You can open this editor and it will give you an option to add a new language. It will give you this uh, map, this key map. So if you just wanna add a new language, go here, type in the language you want to add. I'm gonna add Italian for the purposes of this video. And then it's gonna generate this strings.xml file for Italian. So essentially now that we're in there, we just click on that and you'll see that it's an empty string file and it's gonna give you a lot of errors in the original one saying you did not translate any of this. So let's go to the strings. Let's go to open the editor and we can actually drag this a bit so it might be a bit easier to see. And this is why it's so beautiful. You can just add you can just add the translations here very easily. So you can do pulsante for button. And then we're gonna just write, it says type some text here. We're just gonna write uh, scrivi qualcosa qui. And for name we write nome. And for things that are not translatable, you just click on this box, it will write untranslatable. And when you go to the strings XML, you'll see actually that it will have this option added, which says translatable to false. And that's just handy to have in case there's a word that doesn't really matter what language it's translated in, because it's all the same. And let's just finish the, uh, the translations with the last one, which is 
questo è un toast. And those are all the translations we have to add at the moment. And there's one more thing that's very, very important. This strings file is the main one. So if you are missing a string resource file here, your app will crash. In the other files, it doesn't really matter too much. If you forget to add, let's say, name for some reason, the app will say whatever, and it will give you the default one here. But what's very important is that you make sure that the strings XML, the main one, has all of the string resources and that none of them are missing. But with that being said, we can actually test our app. But let's turn on the screen. Let's see, phone screen here. And let's click on play. All right, great, so here we are again. So now if we click on the button, you'll get this toast in English because the phone is set to English. You'll see it says type some text here in English. Code Palace is always Code Palace. Let's go back to the language changer and let's go back to our app immediately. And you'll see everything change to the language you have specified. So Pulsante is in Italian, or I mean button, and it will give you the toast message in Italian. And that is all great. But let me show you that example I was talking about if you remove an Italian resource where it says, for example, if we take this away and we click on replay, the app will load, but it will not translate that text you've missed. So that's great. Anyways, I hope that tutorial helped. And uh, if there are any other tutorials you'd like me to work on, please leave it in the comment section below and I will try to do my best to get to them. Otherwise, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.